Now, since our last General Conference session in 2015, the world has experienced significant crises and has undergone unprecedented change. As Seventh-day Adventists, this should not surprise us. Prophecy foretells the condition of the world just before Jesus comes. And we are told in the spirit of prophecy that the final events will be rapid ones. Yet, despite the challenges, we praise God that through His strength, His last day remnant movement continues moving forward around this globe. We've had to adapt to many different things and circumstances that led to some very difficult decisions, including postponing the General Conference not just once, but twice. Nevertheless, God has blessed in marvelous ways, and we praise Him for the assurance that He will continue guiding His Church through whatever may lie ahead. And let me indicate, I praise God for the beautiful worship, prayer, Bible study session we had to introduce this session. Now, while it's impossible to report on all the wonderful ways in which God has worked during these past seven years, we will touch on some, in fact, just a few of the highlights. There are many more that could be named. As you, God's people, have answered the call saying, I will go and reach the world for Christ. We give God all the glory for what He has done through each of us and His remnant church. Nowhere has dedication to this call been more apparent than in Eastern Europe, where conflict rages in Ukraine and massive refugee crisis is flooding neighboring countries. And yet you, God's people, stepped up to the challenge and continued carrying God's work forward despite devastating circumstances. Although displaced from their studios in Kyiv, Hope Channel Ukraine continues to courageously produce and broadcast hope-filled, Bible-based programs despite the danger surrounding them. In Bucha, a town that I have visited, now known around the world for horrific scenes, our Adventist Center of Higher Education survived with only minimal damage. The students were evacuated, with some going to our Adventist youth camp in western Ukraine, where they are helping to care for 97 internally displaced orphans. ADRA, the Adventist Development and Relief Agency, has been very active in helping with this humanitarian crisis, not only in Ukraine, but in many of the surrounding countries as refugees fled to safety. Seventh-day Adventist schools, churches, provided places of refuge. Some members provided bread and other food items, while others have opened their homes to those in need. What an example for us all serving others in their greatest time of need. And thank you to those around this world who are being the hands and feet of Jesus as you bring His light and hope to others. Another way lives are being saved is through many Adventist mission life hope centers around the world. In the city of Talca, Chile, a young woman named Consuelo was looking for hope. Deeply depressed, she often thought of ending her life. 
Then one day, someone told Consuelo about the Adventist Life Hope Center, and she decided to visit. There, she, she met Michelle and Angie, youth volunteers in the One Year in Mission program. The three became close friends, and Consuelo began spending more time at the center. I felt the presence of God in everyone at the center, Consuelo said. They welcomed me with open arms. Before long, the three young women were studying the Bible together and eventually Consuelo decided to be baptized. Today, Consuelo is happily volunteering at the center where she is reaching others for Christ. We praise the Lord for the wonderful work that our One Year in Mission and many other volunteers are doing around the world. And we are thankful for these many centers of influence as they play an integral part in mission to the cities. An integral part of God's ministry to the world is medical missionary work or comprehensive health ministry. Touching the lives of people as Christ did, physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. This is not only the work of many health professionals, clinics, and hospitals around the world. It is to be the right arm of the gospel message being used by all church members to help people to be healthier, happier, and holier, all through the power of the Holy Spirit and Christ's righteousness. The Health Ministries Department and the Education Department, in close cooperation with the East Central Africa Division and the Rwanda Union, have nurtured a new medical school on the campus of the Adventist University of Central Africa in Kigali, Rwanda. What a blessing this medical school will be for the Seventh-day Adventist Comprehensive Health Ministry Outreach to the entire continent of Africa. Praise God for our health ministries activities around the world. The mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church has always been based upon God's Word, the Bible. From the beginning, we've been a prophetic movement based on the sure word of prophecy. As we've followed God's counsel, he has blessed the church based on the Bible. Our message and our mission are inseparably linked. And the way we read the Bible, hermeneutics, is vital to our understanding. Recognizing this, a request was made during the 2015 General Conference session for a specific hermeneutic to be developed for the World Church. This request was entrusted by the Session Steering Committee to the Biblical Research Institute. In 2020, a book entitled Biblical Hermeneutics and Adventist Approach was released in response to this request. Published jointly by the BRI and the Review and Herald Publishing Association, this 488-page book contains 14 chapters written by 12 respected Adventist scholars who tackle important aspects of biblical hermeneutics from an Adventist perspective. The BRI also produced 14 videos introducing issues addressed more fully in the book. Both resources have been translated into multiple languages and are being used in classrooms and shared on social media. The Geoscience Research Institute is an important research entity of the church. Its staff includes professional scientists who are involved in several lines of original scientific research with an understanding of earth history in the light of scriptural revelation. The Geoscience Research Institute, or GRI, provides many educational resources on faith and science, including articles, books, videos, and photo galleries on its website, and promotes Creation Sabbath each year. 
They also organize creation seminars and field conferences for pastors, teachers, church leaders, and university students. These field conferences provide opportunities to learn more about God's creation while exploring nature outdoors as well as in a classroom setting. Recently, the GRI released two very helpful books, including an engaging new textbook for high school students titled By Design Biology, The Scientific Study of Life and Design and Catastrophe, 51 Scientists Explore Evidence in Nature. Books provide an important way of reaching others for Christ, and the Publishing Ministries Department plays a vital role in encouraging total member involvement through literature distribution. This year marked 15 years of the Missionary Book of the Year project. And during that time, more than 700 million books have been scattered around the world through the hands of church members. And in 2021, for the first time, a video version of the Missionary Book of the Year, Hope for Troubled Times, written by Pastor Mark Finley, was produced in conjunction with the General Conference Communication Department. Two other exciting projects include the translation of electronic evangelistic tracts into 85 languages for distribution in the 1040 window, and the upcoming Great Controversy Project 2.0, a plan to personally distribute millions upon millions of full version copies of the Great Controversy as the Missionary Book of the Year in 2023 and 2024. You see, my brothers and sisters, it is really exciting to see that people are already getting a head start on the distribution of this marvelous book, The Great Controversy.